In this video, I'm going to show you how to watch YouTube live streams with a Raspberry Pi. If you want to just jump right into what you need and the steps, just click on the link below in the description. I've been messing around with Raspberry Pi hardware and software for about a year or two now, but I still run into huge roadblocks all the time and nothing is ever easy on the Raspberry Pi. However, when you do get something to work on this little thing, it is awesome. Well. You probably know YouTube has a lot of live streams now, broadcasting 24-7, the most popular of which, well, to my knowledge, is this, Study Girl, lo-fi hip-hop beats to chill sleep study to. I've always had this idea of using a Raspberry Pi to stream this video so I could just turn it on and chill whenever I needed to, without using my phone or iPad or computer or any of that, and it's not as easy as you'd think. I searched the internet everywhere for a solution, and everything I found sounded so custom and hard that I didn't want to try it or it didn't work. Like one example, Kodi. That's a media player you can install on the Pi. And it plays YouTube videos great. The interface is great. It's nice. However, it just wouldn't play live streams. Like you'd find the live stream, click on it, and it just would just load and load and just would not work. If I'm trying to chill, sleep, study, I need something I can hit one button, and no matter what, it comes on. That's it. Well, I finally found something. Deep down in the Raspberry Pi forums, there is a genius with the username RPI Mike who came up with a custom-built program to play any type of video, including live streams, from anywhere using custom-built software for the Pi. And I can't even outline all the stuff that didn't work, but trust me, I tried this so many times unsuccessfully, and finally I got it to work. So, I'm going to show you what I did. So, that's the long story of it. I hope it works for you, and you can enjoy playing YouTube live streams on the Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. Here's what you need. First of all, a Raspberry Pi B3 Plus with a power source, HDMI cable, keyboard and mouse. I have this USB one, an SD card. It needs to be at least class 10. I'm using a 16 gigabyte class 10 and some kind of screen or monitor. We need to download a particular version of Raspbian and we're going to download Stretch from this date. So just need to go to this URL to find the all the past versions and we're looking for 2017 August 17th right there. And you'll know because it's Stretch so just click on the zip. and that will start downloading. What you'll end up with is this IMG file and if yours is a zip file just unzip it to somewhere like your downloads folder or your desktop and just remember that is because we'll be using that for the next step. Once your SD card is in your computer the first thing you need to do is format it and you need a specific type of formatting so we need to use the program SD card formatter and you can search Google for how to get that. Um, first make sure your card is selected and I know because mine's a 16 gigabyte card and I'm gonna do overwrite format and just click format. And it says do you want to erase all the data? I'm gonna click yes. Continue. It'll ask for your computer password. And I'll wait for this to finish. You'll see that it unmounted the card. It unmounts it to do the formatting, but it's still in the computer, so don't take it out or anything. Once that's done, we need to open a program called Bellina Etcher. And this is to write that IMG file onto the card. So first we'll select that file which is in my downloads folder. Click open and then select target and it says no removable drive detected. So 
all I need to do is after that format, I just have to unplug my SD card and plug it back in. So I just did that and it popped up and there's my 16 gig card and then just click flash. Type in your password again and wait till this is done. Once that finishes, you can see that the card has been unmounted, so we can take it out of our computer and it's ready to put in the Raspberry Pi. Once I plug my Raspberry in with the new SD card, uh, I will get this desktop. Sorry mine's not HD, I don't have a way to HD capture video. But the first step, go up here to the top right and connect your Wi-Fi. Okay, once that's connected, just go to your start menu and accessories and go to text editor. Just so we can have this URL for later. So this is the URL that we're going to write down. Okay, and now I'm just going to save this document to my desktop and call it... I'll call it Vidware Blog. I'll choose Desktop, and I'm just gonna make this window a little smaller, and click Save. And I'll make sure that this is working, and make sure the internet's working. So click on your internet browser up there, the little globe icon. I'm gonna open this text document back up so that I can copy that, paste it, and go. And if this website comes up, the Raspberry Pi forums with this specific post, that means your internet's working and you've got the right blog post here. So we need to do a couple more setup steps. So click the Start menu, Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. And we need to change the GPU, which is under Performance, from 64. Bump that up to 128. Press OK. And it says, would you like to reboot now? Click No, because we'll be rebooting pretty soon. Okay, the next step we need to open terminal. I forgot to do a step here. You need to run sudo apt get update. I'll put the text on screen. That's better. Type in leafpad vidware. That'll pop open a leafpad file, an empty one. And so now, with that blog post open, click back to the blog post and scroll down. Keep going past the picture, past this. Keep on going. Okay, right there where it says start of script, do not copy this line or the dashed lines. We're going to start highlighting there, and then I'm going to scroll down, through the whole script, it goes really far. Still going. Alright, I'm gonna 
scroll up. Right there it says end of script. Do not copy this line. So I'm gonna click right there. But before I click there, I'm gonna hold shift and then click. And that'll bring my whole selection down. So I'll right click on that and copy. And then I'm gonna paste that into the leaf pad file just made. And let me just go ahead and minimize this. Click X and it'll prompt you to save. Say yes. All right, now we've got the script ready. So we need to make the script executable. And we do that by typing chmod u plus x. Vidware. Press enter and that worked. So now we will reboot the Raspberry Pi and run the script. And I'm just gonna close everything before I reboot. Close the window. Close that. And then you can just reboot from the shutdown menu. Just click reboot. Okay, there we go. After you rebooted, don't launch the web browser or anything because that will mess with the memory. And this is gonna take up a lot of memory and it's gonna take about an hour. And the instructions say to have a fan up to your Raspberry Pi because it's gonna get really hot. command is really simple. You created that script, made it executable. So all we do to get this started is type bash vidware. And then you just press enter. If you saw this awesome animation, that means it installed successfully. I'm obviously going to use this live stream, the Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio Study Girl. And I'm going to run the command so that this video plays. So I'm just going to write down this URL right here and bring it over to write it down on paper or I'll take a picture of it on my phone and use it on the pie to see if this works. Fuck yeah. I just finished the whole process and I got the install working, but I wanted to make a note because I ran into some problems on the way. 
Um, in my tutorial, I left out one step, and that step is running a sudo apt-get update um, on the session before you reboot and run bash fidware. And if you looked at the blog post, that blog post says to run sudo apt-get update and then run the upgrade, and you don't want to run the upgrade because it upgrades it to a later version. And you want to use this version that I have on screen, Raspbian Stretch from 2017, 816, and then run a sudo apt-get update. And if you don't run that, it won't work, and if you run the upgrade, it won't work. So, just saying that note, how I got it to work for me. And after that, I think it took about an hour to build everything. I did put the fan, but yeah, that just wanted to...